Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial and today it's on Ferris Wheel. So as you can see right now, I am in fact on a boat Ferris Wheel and it's moving around. You can change so many different things about this plugin when you create a brand new Ferris Wheel. And as you can see, um, there are 20 different boats here and it just went round again. It's a really awesome unique plugin that I haven't actually seen before. So uh, let's get into it. So if you forward slash Ferris Wheel, that is the main command that will show us all of the different commands. So what we're going to do, we are in fact going to stop um, this one, it's called test, and we are going to remove it like this, remove test. So uh, that is how you uh, stop and remove one. There we go, it has been removed, and we are going to create a brand new one. So what you need to do, you need to put a block in the sky somewhere, and you need to look at it while you do this command. So let's do Ferris will create, call it something, let's call it um, test2 and we are going to select a radius. So let's go with a radius of 20 and how many different positions the boats can be in. So let's go with 100. I would suggest having a sensible radius. Don't have it too low or too high or you may have issues. Obviously don't put one because that won't work. But uh, make sure you have a nice value like 20, 30, 40. Those would be very good. And then the number of seats, i.e. the number of boats. So um, let's just go with 20. That's a decent number as well. And whether it's on the X or Z plane. So let's go with X. So it'll be the way I'm facing. Or if I did Z, it would be facing the other direction. And finally, uh, this is optional. You can put someone's skull there. So let's put my skull there. And as you can see... Uh, my skull is in all of the different positions the boats can be, which is really cool. Um, so it looks more like a ferris wheel now, as it's all connected up. And obviously you can get in a boat, maybe you could build a platform beneath it or something, and then you can do ferris wheel start the ID, which is test2, and how many ticks. So tick speed is going to be 20, and we will slowly but surely go around so you could increase this or decrease this obviously if you put a stupid value you may have issues and as with every plugin if you do get errors in the console the best method to fixing those is by messaging the developer not posting in the comments uh, make sure you tell him the error and hopefully he can fix it for the next update so that is the plugin it's really really awesome um, you can download it for free off of spigot Subscribe, like, comment, and I will see you next time.